Oh hi! Many skeptics will say that the four gospel accounts and the book of Acts are written late. So I will go and sit on that sofa and make a two minute critique of that objection. See you after the cool roaring lion. The four gospel accounts and the book of Acts write about many big things, but mentions nothing about the 70 AD Roman destruction of the Jewish temple. Nothing would be of more importance than that for an ancient Jew. This event completely rocked the Jewish world up until this day. Now here's the interesting part and listen to the end because I'm gonna give a bit more than a standard prophecy argument here. Check this out. In for example Matthew chapter 24 verse 1, look at the text. Jesus says about the physical present temple that it will be destroyed. But in Matthew's entire gospel account, not a single sentence about and the temple was indeed destroyed, just as Jesus had said. And Matthew, who so often will write a comment about fulfilled prophecies about Jesus. He do it four times alone in chapter 2 for example. But on this, here is niche, nada, nothing in his entire gospel account. Same goes with for example Luke's gospel account and the book of Acts. Why would Luke include a prophecy and the fulfillment of that prophecy in Acts chapter 11 verses 27 to 28 over Gabus, an obscure figure, but not for the Lord Jesus Christ and his massive temple destruction prophecy? Unless Luke and Acts was written before 70 AD. And since all New Testament scholars agree on that Mark and Matthew's gospel account came before Luke and Acts, that logically pushes these two gospel accounts even further down on timeline and closer to the time of Jesus. <laughs>